Detectives have until this morning to charge a 17-year-old boy arrested in connection with the fatal stabbing of 15-year-old Elian Andam in South London. Elian's family said their lives had fallen apart. Our Home Affairs correspondent Daniel Sanford says she was attacked with a foot-long knife. A weapon police say is becoming more common. Police officers have been saying that it shouldn't really even be called knife crime anymore. It should be called sword crime because of the size and severity of some of the weapons that they're finding. Ministers have uh, tried banning knives, they've tried increasing the sentences for carrying a knife, they've tried encouraging the police to do more stop and search. But you can ban all the knives you want and people working in the field feel that it's not really going to have any success unless you take a sort of whole society approach. Dutch police have arrested a gunman after two shootings in Rotterdam. At least three people, including a 14-year-old girl, were killed. A 32-year-old opened fire on a house before setting it alight, then attacked a medical centre. Unions have called for ministers to convene an emergency summit to discuss the high-speed railway line HS2 following speculation about its future. In a joint statement, the Trade Union Congress and five unions said stakeholders must urgently be brought together to help get the project back on track. President Joe Biden has appealed for Americans to stand up for democracy, accusing Donald Trump and his supporters of spreading lies and inciting violence. At a speech in Arizona, he said the former president, who's likely to stand again, was motivated by vindictiveness. Trump says the Constitution gave him, quote, the right to do whatever he wants as president, end of quote. I've never heard a president say that in jest. Not guided by the Constitution or by comment, service and decency toward our fellow Americans, but by vengeance and vindictiveness. The BBC has changed its social media guidelines for staff after several high-profile presenters, including Gary Lineker, were criticised for expressing opinions about current affairs. A review said presenters should be allowed to give their views on issues, but must stop short of political campaigning. Stars of the Harry Potter films have paid tribute to their fellow actor Sir Michael Gambon, who's died of pneumonia at the age of 82. Daniel Radcliffe said the brilliant, effortless actor who played Professor Dumbledore in six of the films loved his job but never seemed defined by it. Siobhan Sinot, a film critic who interviewed Sir Michael several times, said he was one of a kind. Sir Michael was not above telling you enormous porkies just to amuse himself. Uh, very early on, when I was a very young journalist, one of the first things he told me when I'd said, oh, were you always going to be in the theatre? Were you always going to be an actor? He went, oh, no, I was a ballet dancer before that. <laughs> Found it plausible until he said the only reason that he had stopped ballet was because he fell off the stage.